everyone, on today's episode, I'll be sharing with you how to make really simple, easy and budget-friendly tuna croquettes. So for this recipe, I'm actually going to be using canned tuna. So don't be afraid of canned products, actually sometimes like uh, of canned or frozen products because sometimes they are a bit more handy. Just make sure that you get the sustainable ones. For the exact recipe, you can always refer to the um, description in the comment box below. So I'm going to go ahead and start mixing the ingredients first, yeah? So here I have with me um, uh, canned tunas. I've got two canned tunas, so this is about um, 200 grams. I've got mashed potatoes here. So these um, is basically about two pieces of uh, medium-sized potatoes. Um, I've uh, boiled them and I've just mashed them. Nothing, no salt, nothing. Just kept it really plain. One onion that I have uh, diced. Sliced lemongrass, bird's eye chilli, green bird's eye chilli mozzarella cheese and just to keep it a little bit moist there are a few options that you can use i'm actually using um yogurt if you have mayonnaise or if you have sour cream um anything like that you can also use it pepper salt coriander powder some um, dill leaves here now when you're cutting any herbs you don't want to be too hard on your knife you don't want to injure the leaves so just very lightly, a bunch of coriander leaves. Um, but this time I'm just going to be using the leaves. Um, no stem, no um, end bits or anything like that. Smoked paprika powder. The last thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding an uh, egg to bind it all up. So. What I usually do is, I do not drop an egg inside, just in case if you have any bad ones, you never know. I'm going to put this inside. Okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and start mixing them. So the tuna is already quite flaky. So what you want to do is gently fold it. You don't want to over fold it or over mix it because then what happens is your croquettes will become very dense. Um, after you've given it a good mix, um, just fry a little bit and try the seasoning first before you go on rolling with the entire batch so that you know you get your taste right. So I've already tested the seasoning, um, it's fine for me. I just added a tad bit of corn um, starch to it, just about half a teaspoon because my mixture is a little bit um, wet. I'm making little bite size, these are party appetizers. So, and later when we are going to add on the crumbs and everything, it is going to be a little bit bigger. If you've got a mini ice cream scoop, that will be very handy as well. What you can do is just scoop it up and drop it off in your hand and you've got like even sizes of the balls. Okay guys, so I've preheated my oil here just now. Very gently drop them in. As you can see, when you fry something, just make sure you give them enough um, space for them to move around and flip later on, okay? While my um, tuna croquettes are being fried and I'm going to wait for them to turn golden brown, I'm going to go on and start on with my mint lime crema. So what I have here is a cup of yogurt. You can use Greek yogurt if you like. This is actually the mint dip that I did for the chicken kebab recipe which I have balanced. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use this and mix it up. But, but if you do not have um, this mint dip, if you haven't tried the chicken kebab recipe, what you can do is you can buy any mint uh, dip that is available in the shelves. So I'm just going to put this inside. Just give it a stir. One line. So it's a really simple dip. So it's just going to look like this. Just season um, your dip with some salt and black pepper. There you go. That's done. Okay guys, so my tuna croquettes have been frying in here for just a while now already. This is about like 3 to 5 minutes. They're nice and golden. So just give them a little stir to see if they're done. You may want to keep a couple of paper towels handy and around. 
Use a sieve so it's easier for you. You want to strain out all the excess oil. Okay guys, I'm going to start plating my tuna croquettes here. So um, I've already got a couple of uh, romaine leaves and uh, tomatoes um, sliced up here. Um, this will help to cut off the greasiness perhaps from the um, fried uh, tuna croquettes. I mean, this is a fried item after all. So here we go. I'm just going to place them here with alongside our chutney. Now let's open one of these because they are a little bit cheesy inside. I'm going to show you how it looks like. Nice and hot and steaming. So as you can see, there's a little bit of cheese going on in there. So oozy. Delicious tuna croquettes. I hope you've really enjoyed um, watching the recipe and I hope you try this delicious tuna croquettes and do let me know how it turns out. If you've got any questions, do drop me a comment below. Thank you so much. Bye.